One family knows all too well the dangers of being in the ocean. They lost a loved one who was swept away. His body washed ashore hours later. 29-year-old Robert Hickson was with his family Sunday at Ponte Vedra Beach when he went in the water to help his sister who was in distress. He went under and disappeared. Channel 4's Kamasi Aaron spoke with his family and she's joining us live. Kamasi. Well, Mary, you just heard John Gahn say that it's beautiful beach days like the one we're having today when rip currents can really be their worst. And you can see a lot of people are out here enjoying the day, just like Rob Hickson was with his family when he went out in the water to help his sister who was struggling. And they never imagined he wouldn't come back. He actually died as being a hero. That's it. That's all I can say. That's one of the few things that gives Jaquan feels peace in losing his cousin, that Hickson died saving his sister's life. I was in disbelief that the incident happened, but knowing him, how he is with his family, I could see him doing that. Feel says his cousin, a Jacksonville native, loved his family and loved sports, even playing for the Jacksonville Spartans. He worked as a car salesman, his death leaving an impact on his colleagues as well as his family. It's really, really devastating. It's, it's really a shock. It's like it's a dream. You really can't believe that it happened. St. John's County deputies say it was a calm day when Hickson and his family came to Ponte Vedra Beach. But the weather authorities, John Gahn, says those are the days when rip currents pose the highest threat. Strangely, the scariest part of rip current is the good weather that they often are accompanied by. It's not always a nor'easter that we see the big rip currents. They can happen on those days where you think it's beautiful. And with Memorial Day weekend set to be particularly bad, Fields has this message to everyone heading to the beach. Enjoy this weekend. Be safe, everybody. Get home, back home to your family and your loved ones. And John Gahn says the threat for rip currents, not just for little ones, but also big ones. And they can pull not just one person, but multiple people out into the ocean. So definitely something to be aware of as you head out to the beach this weekend. Reporting live in Jacksonville Beach, Kamasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Kamasi. By News 4 Jax's count, there have already been 14 drownings in our area this year. Eight of them have been in a river, three in the ocean, and one from a capsized boat. Last year, we had a total of nine. Now, take a look at this animation. It shows what to do if you find yourself struggling in a rip current. First, try to stay calm and float. And once you feel your body leave the rip current, swim at an angle away from it toward the shore. Experts urge you to go with the flow. If you don't have the swimming skills or the energy to swim out of the rip, float on your back and go with the current.